champion. Parts of the record? Let's check them out now. Hopefully, we'll find out the reason why Igor came to the Xianzhou.
Jinx, look! She and Luca are here. This Jade Abacus is too severely damaged. Even with my best efforts, I can only restore a small part of the record. What we're about to watch should be the last of the records. Igor Haft is a hero of Urolo 6, yet we know so little about his life. This information we've discovered can help us know him better. Are you guys ready? I'm going to play it. Go ahead, Miss Qingchue. Igor, a flicker of sorrow appears fleetingly in my empathy module after listening to your speech. Even the coolant is unable to put out this flame of melancholy. So... Will you deploy your army to take over the collapsing market, Mr. Abraham? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I won't. Every business decision has to be reached based on rational consideration. Your home world only contributes 0.005% of the logistical capacity required by the Building Material Logistics Department. In terms of the resource allocation of the traditional project department, its share is infinitesimal. Mr. Abraham, that infinitesimal share you mentioned is my everything. You can try your luck on the Lawfu of the Xianzhou Alliance, where the Luminary War Dance is currently held. The people of Xianzhou have always prided themselves on their benevolence, and they have aided many planets ravaged by the denizens of abundance. Uh, perhaps they might lend you a helping hand? However, my child, I must remind you that the Xianzhou martial contests are much more than simple cyberboxing. You turn down the prizes and rewards you could have had just to talk to me for ten minutes. Please at least take my sincerest wishes with you when you leave. <laughs> Miss Chinche, are you alright? I'm fine. I just feel a bit blue after watching it. Hey, it happened a long time ago. You're right. Qingchue, don't be sad. It's just history. But the fact that it's history makes it even sadder. Ikor grasped at every tiny sliver of hope for someone to rescue his home world. When the name Sienjo Alliance was mentioned, I imagined things unfolding like this. The Cloud Knights went to Eurilo 6 as reinforcements and eliminated the Ruin Legion, and the people of Eurilo 6 emerged from the crisis. <sighs> Even without the records of what happened afterward, we know very well that things did not pan out that way. Ikor's last hope, the Sienjo Alliance, did not come to his world's rescue. All his efforts were in vain. No, Miss Qingchue. He didn't fail. Igor Haft later returned to Urillo 6 and fought against the Antimatter Legion on the front line. He, along with many others like him, preserved the desolate city of Bellabog with their flesh and blood. The fact that I can participate in the war dance to fight for my home today shows that he didn't fail. Those who sacrificed their lives 700 years ago didn't fail either. You're right. If Igor could see how impressive you are on the war dance stage, he would definitely be very proud. It's a pity we don't know how Igor performed at the war dance back then. 
I went to the repository the other day and did some digging. 700 years ago was not too long ago, but it was a turbulent era. The aftermath of the second denizens of Abundance War still lingered, and the sedition of Imbibador Lune soon followed. I couldn't even find a complete list of contestants, and I didn't see Igor's name anywhere. It's okay. Even though this ancient legend is no longer known, I can still create a new legend myself. My fist, I'll rewrite Igor's story in the War Dance's ring. Just you wait and see. Yeah, we look forward to it. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>